Hey, what's up guys with a Holly Blast. I'm Serge. And I'm Oscar, and today we are reacting to a dance practice from G-Friend with their new song, Sunny Summer. Now, it's been a little bit since mm -hmm. we did a dance practice from G-Friend. Wait, did we do one for the last comeback? I don't, I don't remember. No, we did. But for like, Summer Rain and all those, I think we did the live performances and the dance practices. It's true. Did we do? I think we did because G Friend's last comeback was around the time the whole live thing was happening. So we, I think we, there's like an 80% chance we did do the Probably. dance practice. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure well. we did. But uh, we have had more time with this song, but we're going to talk more about that after we watch this. Mm. So let's go. See a little bit of blue in her hair. Might be like purple. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yeah. I think it's purple. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite part in the entire like yeah. song and music video. Like the song itself or the mm -hmm. dance? Song and self and music video. This is like really just, cute. Just get yeah. it. Like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Before. No, she better not trip on her shoelace. She's not. Please don't. Well, they wouldn't have used it if she did. Oh. She be please make sure she's your tie next time. Did your opinion change a lot on this song? Or not really? Uh, not really. Unfortunately. I love it, bro. Oh yeah, so they all do say the names. I saw that comment. We're gonna bring that up. Yeah, this dance really isn't complicated, I would say. Compared to their other ones, at least. A simpler one, finally, kind of. Mm. I think people were saying that they had uh, a little less about time practice. So. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the last comeback wasn't that yeah. far ago, so I, I imagine they uh, they tried to make the dance a little toned it down, yeah, yeah. a little easier. Well, they said this one was more for the fans, also, yeah. so it's not their full, full on comeback or repackage, rather. Yeah. Do the line stuff. Reminds me of Ruff. Is it known Ruff that did that? With the whole oh, clock. clock. Yeah. You'd you be mine? Yes, I will be yours. Yeah. I know it's in the comments, but I think the only name I didn't hear was Solon. Oh, when they say it? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, like, I have to go back. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and look at the comment that said it because I got real frustrated because uh, this song pops up a lot while I'm playing games on the playlist. It's a new song. No, I'd have to actually like listen, sit down and listen to this song to hear. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, not like it was just randomly playing. Oh yeah, well, but when it plays, I always intently oh, miss some okay. further names. All right, nothing too crazy there, but it's still perfect, honestly. Yeah. Um. So I mean. Uh, Let's see, um, so uh, have you listened to the album? Yes, I did. I have as well. And I want to pull up the song's names real quick because that's the only way I'll remember them. Mm -hmm. um, let me see, give me one second. So, um, I was listening to them over on the way over here for a refresher. No. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with giving the rating of the album first. Okay. I will give it a solid seven. Seven? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I could honestly give it around the same. Just nothing. It's I don't know. It's not nothing, nothing jumped to, out. Yeah, nothing jumped out. Yeah. Nothing was too special, unfortunately. 
Um, Sunny Summer, I'm okay with now as I've listened to it. You know, it's it's something that I like for that to be in the background for me. Um, if it pops up, it's fine, but I don't have the desire to listen to it. Um, I don't. I probably won't ever look for this song, which is. You know, whenever I like, which is rare for me with G Friend because yeah. every time I'm in my car and I'm listening to G Friend songs or a song with G Friend song comes up, I always have this inner turmoil on whether or not I should skip the song to the next one or not. And I, I normally don't end up skipping the song yeah. no matter what it is. Uh, but these are songs I could probably pass on. These, I don't know, because I, I did put this song on my K pop playlist. Mm. And when I listen to it on All My Car, this is a skippable one mm. for me, though. Mm. I. I don't know. I just I don't, just didn't go. Sunny well. summer now. It's it's fine to me. You know, I don't I don't mind it at all. Like in the slightest. You know, it's it's G friend. It's it's G friend. Um, something that I found very interesting is that when some of y'all told us that the producer of the song was a originally Sistar's producer, mm. I was I was, you, you know, you can really hear yeah. it, and I find it interesting because with Sistar, um, I never immediately like Sister songs. Mm -hmm. It always took me a while to get a warm up to Sister. The exception being um, I like that and uh, Goodbye both songs that I yeah. liked immediately. Um, but Shake It, you know, uh, Touch Me. I like Shake It. That was, um, that was a good one. I can't remember. There, there touch was my one, body. Touch my body. Uh, oh, this, oh yeah, Touch Me Body, yeah. Uh, there's I can't think Dang, there's one I'm thinking I have the music video playing in my head I and I I can't think of it. Think of it right now. Um, but all of those other songs, um, I've always been, um, I've had to warm up to. Yeah. Um, that being said, you know, um, it's, I can't, I mean, I, I can't say I'm disappointed, honestly. Um, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to just chalk it up to the fact that, um, oh, well, maybe I will. Maybe I will chalk it up to the fact that, yeah. The fact that what? It's not your song, or? Mm -hmm. No, because it still is G friend. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk up to the fact that they're trying something different. Like yeah. it's, it's not their concept, uh, yeah. their style of song. Um, because I, you know, I it's G friend's voices that I love. You know, even if it's a kind of producer giving it his take on G, I don't know. It's it's weird to explain honestly. Um, it's just not their sound. Not, not their sound, honestly. But I can still appreciate it. Yeah, honestly. that's true. Um, if anything, what this mini comeback did for me is it, it's letting me anticipate their next song even more now because they're going to have more time to practice it yeah. and it's going to be you know what it's kind of like the calm before the storm type thing how i feel about it i feel like this the this was the calm and the next one's just going to blow my mind because of i can see that because of how lackluster this one was yeah because it's like you're going to go into one i don't know like this is what i'm uh, this is what i'm afraid of see we're both going to feel that way about this one because this comeback we liked it because G Frank came back, mm. but the song wise, I think it's fair to say we didn't really mm. enjoy it fully like we would a normal G Frank song. Mm -hmm. What I'm afraid of is we're gonna get super hyped for the next one, and then like it's gonna suck if that one just like falls through. Well, like it might not happen, but I think that's gonna be in the back of my mind. So like, I don't think I don't it's know. gonna bother me. I don't. I don't think there's ever been any G Frank songs that I've passed on. It's always. It's always. I'm, G friends, you know, G friends, G friends, and yeah. like they're they're always going to be that sound to me. I, I'm not, I don't ever get disappointed, even if their current songs sound like their old songs anymore, because yeah. it's just I like them that much, um, and I do want them to grow, and I, I, they do, do grow every single time. Um, but it's it's I'm just uh, my bias is too strong <laughs> now. I, I like think, to think of it. I think my bias towards G friend kind of wavered a bit. I think especially after Naviletta. Oh. So I think Naviletta was the last comeback I was like fully invested. Fully invested in the G friend. Like they, I could confidently say they were probably my top three, at least at the time. Mm. But I don't know. I think Fingertip came out and I liked it. Not gonna lie, that I wasn't like as huge as a fan like as the previous songs. And I think after that, it's just. I was, I'm kind of I like in really a. I liked Fingertip. I'm kind though. of just like in a weird limbo with G Friend. I like yeah. them, but just some of the songs, I just they haven't struck me mm -hmm. as much. It's kind of weird. I yeah. So and then then let's say let's see. So Vacation, Sweetie, Windy, Windy, and Love in the Air. Windy, Windy is probably the strongest song. Yeah. Um, even though it's it slower definitely, than the than the other ones. It definitely caught my attention more. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I think know. Windy, Windy had like three huge high notes in there or something. Yeah. Like there was mo there was co quite a couple high notes. But other than that, uh, Vacation, Sweetie Sweetie and Love is in the Air, 
Um, they were kind of just all similar to Sunny Summer. You know, I there wasn't really anything too, too special about them. When I put it on, it was when I was driving, so I, I don't know, I kind of zoned out. Mm. But That's exactly what, yeah, yeah, like, the exact same thing. I was they're, zoned out, yeah. they're good, li- they're nice to listen to, mm. but I kind of, I don't know, nothing grabbed my attention as mm. much, so I kind of just like zoned out. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like I said, like, I'm not particularly disappointed once you guys pointed it out that it was, you know, they didn't have enough... Uh, time with this, you know, it was it was not rushed per se, but you know, it's it's, yeah, it's, it's not their full scale. on, yeah, it's on yeah. the faster scale, you know. Um, I, I'm not disappointed, not in the slightest. I'm mean, I'm I'm very happy actually that we have another G4 music video that I can watch and listen to, true. and maybe eventually I'll you know think of Sunny Summer as top tier, maybe later on in the in the future. But you never know, like yeah, that's know. what happens with these K-pop songs, mm-hmm. man. Like you might not like them at first, mm-hmm. and then like. You listen to it like in a whole different setting, and boom! This is like the greatest song you've ever heard. Yeah, exactly. Which is, yeah. That's just happened a couple times. Today, it has so happened a couple nice. times. It has happened. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, I wanted to say this before, but uh, G Friends fandom is probably my favorite fandom. Buddies, the buddies are probably they really are. Honestly. Yeah, y'all are like really honestly probably the nicest fandom that I've experienced. I don't think I think most of the girlfriend or uh, like girl group, um, mem. Bands, mm. yeah, girl group, bands. Say girl group bands are mm. generally the nicer ones, yeah, honestly, honestly, like, mm. more supportive. Well, 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 at least I've seen anyway. Yeah. Um, even, like, I, I saw a couple of other um, uh, YouTubers who, who reacted to uh, Silent Summer, and they all kind of were on the same boat, honestly. Um, yeah. um, and it was, like, scrolling through the comments, you know, and I don't, I don't even think I ever once saw, like, a negative comment or anything like that, so... Honestly, buddies, buddies are probably, I don't know anything about daisies, because, you know, we've never done a Girls' Day video, so. No, I was uh, like, I don't daisies know. Daisies are just, I believe, the Girls' Day name, a uh, fandom name, but, um, I don't know, buddies, you're, you're honestly the best, like, probably my favorite fandom, yeah. absolutely, 100%. Definitely up there, honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Like always, leave some feedback below, hit that like and sub button, and that's all. See, See you later. later.